Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. And while I'm sitting up here on beautiful Lake Minnetonka tonight, there are disasters going on elsewhere in the world, and especially in the state of Florida, supposedly. Now, why does this concern me? Because we do have a vacation home down there that my wife lives at, and of course we have to be concerned. And we hear devastation, devastation, huge floods, everything coming, everybody evacuate. But you know what? The Turbine Guy is not worried. I'm not worried one little bit. First of all, my family's safe, so that's the most important part. But secondly, I'm not concerned for my home because where this Hurricane Ian is coming, right over our home, is right where Hurricane Charlie did in 2004. Hurricane Charlie was 170, 80 miles an hour wind coming over our house. because We were right on the edge of the eye. I was watching that on the Weather Channel as it went right over. But this one's only 130 miles an hour, they're going to say. They say, oh, only 130. 130 is tough. I get it. 70, 60, 70 miles an hour, a man can't stand up and gets blown away. But for a house that's been built to Hurricane Andrew standards, it's not that big a deal. And you know what I have that nobody else has on my block? I got me solar power and a backup battery bank. So my food's going to be fine. My house is going to be fine. Everything's going to be up and running even though the power is going to be out. Now, this Hurricane Ian came over Cuba, a million people without a power going through Florida. They're going to shut power down maybe for days. They always shut the power down when the hurricane comes through so people don't get hurt. Then when they fire it up, they find the problems. But you know what? Even though I've been out of power for five or six days on a previous hurricane, I am not going to be now because I got my battery bank. I got my solar power. My fridge is going to be running. I'm going to have me some cold beer. Well, everybody else is scrambling. Here you go, folks. Let's watch Hurricane Ian. Let's see what happens. I'm going to sit up here in Minnesota and not be worried one little bit. By the way, if you want to protect yourself this way so you don't have to worry about it next time, I'm the guy to talk to, especially if you're DIY. Let's figure out how to get solar and batteries into your home, and let's all move forward. Turbine Guy, signing off.